This is chapter 6, lesson 2, inverses and contrapositives, and I'm going to do problem number 13 from page 211. My given conditional is, if it is not raining, then I am happy. The first thing I would do is make sure that I identify my hypothesis, P, and my conclusion, Q. My hypothesis is, it is not raining. My conclusion is, I am happy. Now let's take a look at different additional statements and determine, can we, can we draw some conclusion from these two statements together? In letter A, it says, I am not happy. What conclusion can I draw? Well, if it is not raining, then I am happy is our original conditional. I am not happy is not Q. Well, what happens if I have a not Q? That's the contrapositive. If not Q, then not P. So I can see that if I am not happy, then it is raining. So that would be the answer for 13a. My conclusion is, if I'm not happy, then it is raining. Let's take a look at letter B. It is not raining. It is not raining is affirming the hypothesis P. Well, given the conditional, if it is not raining, then I am happy, and I'm told that it is not raining, well, then I would conclude I am happy. So my conclusion would be that I am happy. And that's just simply affirming the original conditional by affirming the hypothesis. Again, notice in A and B that the conditional and the contrapositive are always logically equivalent. Let's look at 13C. I am happy. Well, I am happy is affirming the conclusion. And that's called the converse. If Q, then P. But this is not necessarily logically equivalent to the original condition, conditional. If I am happy does not necessarily tell me whether or not it is raining. Simply affirming the conclusion does not necessarily affirm the hypothesis. That's the converse, and the converse is not logically equivalent to the original conditional. So if I am happy, there's no additional conclusion that I can draw. I don't know uh, whether or not it is not raining, I just simply know that I'm happy. Finally, if you look at letter D, it is raining, it is raining is negating the original hypothesis. It's giving me a not P. Well, if it is raining, then can I conclude that I am not happy? And again, I can't necessarily draw that conclusion. Now, this confuses a lot of people. My original, my original condition is that if it is not raining, in all cases where it is not raining, I am definitely happy. But notice that this doesn't necessarily mean that I am only happy when it is not raining. And this is the common mistake that a lot of people make. I might still be happy even if it is raining, but I am definitely happy if it is not raining. So therefore, there's no conclusion that I can draw. If it is raining, I might still be happy. I don't have enough information to make a determination that I'm not happy, because the inverse is not logically equivalent to the original conditional. So in summary, the answers for 13 would be 13A, my, my conclusion is that it is raining. 13B, my conclusion is I am happy. For 13C and 13D, there's no conclusion that I can draw, because these are the converse and inverse of the original conditional which are not logically equivalent to the original conditional.